are we counting Justin Fields out too quickly as it relates to not just his prospects, season-long props, but even just how we view the Chicago Bears? Forget eh, it's pre. I don't care. Yeah, I know it's preseason. Everybody knows. What do you want? Leave it alone. Donnie, 14 to 16, 156 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. I mean, a near perfect passer rating in this game. He was absolutely phenomenal. It's fair to say that this is the most impressive thing he has been able to do as a member of the Chicago Bears. It certainly piqued my interest. It, it does pique the interest. And also, you know, we can always make jokes on the Chicago Bears because, quite frankly, I don't think they're going to be a very good football team this year. But I have prefaced that, Kevin, by saying it's not going to be Justin Fields' fault. The only fault is going to be is if they can protect him. And if he feels like he needs to be Superman, does that mean running a little bit more than he should be doing, taking those extra hits that you don't want to take as a quarterback? Because even watching the preseason game versus the Seattle Seahawks, they weren't very good, didn't block anybody. But he stood out. It wasn't even the fact that they had scoring drives or touchdown drives. You know what sometimes, Kevin, all I need to say is, well, he really looks like he belongs out here. Bigger, faster, and stronger than he was last year. And looks like his arm certainly is in shape. Now, as I said, Mm -hmm. preface that by saying, I don't think the Bears will be very good. But if you are a Bears fan, it's just like you want to sit back and go, why didn't you help this kid? Every other young quarterback got help, and it doesn't seem like Justin Fields is going to get that. It's not his fault if the Bears are bad. I just hope he survives this type of environment where he doesn't have bad decision-making because it's not his – what do you want him to do? Hot, hot hike. Oh, my goodness. The pass rush is already on top of me. I can't get to my secondary and mm-hmm. third reads at this point here. Justin Fields will not be the issue for the Bears. 14 of 16, a buck 56, and three scores. Good on Justin Fields. You just got to get yeah. him some talent, Chicago. And again, while it's not a team loaded up and down, Fields is going to be in a spot where we think they're going to be trailing quite a bit. They don't have that passing yardage prop listed on Fields. Would have been a really interesting number. But again, we're going to get to week one, and I cannot wait to see what they do with his passing yard prop against the San Francisco 49ers. Because last year, we were legitimately looking at 185s and a half. And people were betting under and people were winning bets. I don't think it can open up that low to start the season. But similarly, are they really going to hang a 235 and a half based on last season? I I have my doubts. I I really do. You know, they have 18 and a half for a passing touchdowns prop listed right now on Justin Fields. I don't want to get wrapped up in the moment of this game with the three passing touchdowns here because – how bad everything, I mean, he threw seven touchdowns last season. While not a full season, it was hardly even scratching the surface. 